about signing a contract and being a second shooter. If you want to listen, it's a doozy, a lot of drama. If you have comments that are negative or you post something mean, I'm not going to read them. I'm just going to block you and move on with my life. You're wasting your breath. You're wasting your energy, especially typing the stuff out, and you're wasting Earth's resources and anything else that goes with it. I'm just saying. Um, I did this wedding, and you can kind of see this, and I'm just showing you the detail shots. I'm not going to say he or her uh, whatsoever. I was hired as a second shooter last minute, and so this is what this rant's about. If you don't want to hear it, you want to hear about XH1, XH2S. I don't have one for this, this shoot, this wedding that I just did today. I'm putting this video out. Uh, that was my friend's XH2S. Uh, I just have the XH1. My XT3 was destroyed at the wedding yesterday. That's its own story. It's another YouTube video. I just wanted to get this out. Um, I shot with the A7 III and the Fuji X-H1 here. Um, so if you see photos, I'm just editing detail shots. There's nothing. I'm just so you're entertained, I guess. I don't know. But I do want to go on a small rant. Um, always, always, always sign a contract. And I say that because I did this, somebody in a Facebook group, um, I hate how, sorry, I'm going to go ADHD here in a minute. I hate how when the new update for Apple uh, does this, because look, I'm going to make this big and then I'm going to move out of the way and then I'm going to click the edit button and boom, it pops like this. I don't want it to do that. I don't know why it does that. I get that you need that little screen, but I should be able to just do this exactly how this is and then move on. Okay. With that being said, um, I did this wedding. And this is going to be a long rant, guys. So go ahead and click off if you don't want to hear the drama. I'm serious. Just go away because I'm just saying this into the verse. It just makes me feel better. And uh, if you don't like it, please click off. Don't make a comment. Don't like. Don't subscribe. Don't hit the dislike button. I don't really care to be honest with you, but I'm just, I need to rant this out. Uh, I'm not going to say any names. I'm not going to show any pictures of the photographer. I hope I don't remember if they're in here or not, but anyway, so this, this morning, this Sunday morning, this photographer sends out a message. I'll call, Hey, at eight o'clock in the morning, Hey, does uh, anybody can second shoot? And listen, there's a bunch of red flags that go in the story and I should have listened to my gut instinct. I should have listened to the other person who told me, Hey, don't do this wedding. But I was like, hey, it's a quick 150 bucks, you know, because I charge a minimum of $50. Now, before you argue, you just push a button. You shouldn't be getting paid $50 to take the photos. Uh, I make $15 an hour or $7 an hour. I, I was there. I was minimum wage a long time ago making, I think, five seventy five dollars for years. Seven twenty five dollars at the next job. nine seventy five dollars at a banking job. Like... I was there. I know how you feel. I know where you're at, but you need to know your worth. And the society where we're quiet quitting or working your wage and managers are quiet firing, firing you, right? Do you, you make your wage. You determine what your worth is. How much are you going to stand? So my wage is $50 an hour, minimum 45 max for a second shooter, 65 And that's an emergency. And this was an emergency. So I'm going $65 an hour, $50, $55, $50 an hour. That's my worth. For an emergency, hey, I need a last-minute shooter. I don't know this person's budget. Didn't ask them. They're shooting for a friend from what I understand. And because they're shooting for a friend, what ends up happening is they probably quoted them low. And if they're going to quote them low, then at that point in time, you know, it's going to be it's going to be kind of the price it's going to be, right? It's not going to be um, a lot of money. That they're gonna make off of this, and I understand that. I get it. Okay, I I've been there, where you make a budget, and you either stick to it or you don't stick to it. And so this person probably didn't have any money, and we should have had that conversation. Anyway, let me let me go back to the beginning. So I used to be on this thing called Clubhouse, and in Clubhouse, 
these people from California, and I've even, I was shooting in weddings in Utah, but these people from California I would shoot with all the time. They had these things in their contracts, and I heard it in Clubhouse too. Hey, if there's a second shooter, they cannot have the photos. They can't post them. They can't have them. Blah, blah, blah. They're our photos. They're my photos. Uh, they can't have them. Okay. So I thought that was messed up that they would do that to the second photographer because the argument that I have is I took those photos. You paid me. I signed a contract with you. Those are my photos I took. You are getting the photos as a benefit because you didn't get the shot. You didn't get the angle. You didn't get the moment, whatever it is. So those are both our photos. I took the shot. They're mine. You get paid. You pay me for the rights to have those photos, but you don't get to keep those photos. And I think that's super wrong in general that people from California do that to all their photographers. How are you supposed to build a portfolio if you're a second shooter? You know, and that was the question I had for them. And they're just like, ah, that's how we do it. Okay, well, whatever. I'm not doing it. I'm not going to sign it. So I guess I won't make any money with you regardless. Okay. So the, um, so this shooter needed, or this person needed a, a second shooter. And I said, sure, I'll help you out. Didn't sign a contract. First red flag guys. First thing, always sign a contract. If you're trying to help somebody out in one of these, I said, Facebook group, I'm sorry. It's an Instagram group. Um, Always sign a contract every time. Don't ever not sign a contract uh, to any of these things that you do. We did not have a conversation about a lot of things. So in the conversation, it was like, hey, I need somebody to shoot for three hours, two to five. I'm cool. I can do it. I sent them a message. They didn't respond. I sent them another personal DM on Instagram and they didn't respond. So there's a red flag, right? Whatever. I sent them one more message. I said, hey, I'm available till 10 o'clock. Let me know. I've got stuff I need to do. And this still doesn't look straight, does it? I don't know what I'm doing. I usually, well, you know what? I use Luminar AI, so it'll straighten it out for me. But I think that's good enough. Oh, it still don't look straight. Anyway, so I sit here and I'm thinking, hey, this person doesn't want me. You know, I never get really picked. And with that said, I'm going to, I'm just going to let it go. I'm not going to worry about it. I gave them my, my time frame that they need to call me. Um, and that's what we're going to do. We're just going to, we're going to do that. And so the, um, I think it was like 950, 955, 1005. I don't remember somewhere in that range. I'm not looking at my phone. And they sent me a message saying, hey, sorry, I got family stuff. Can you still help me with the wedding? So I'm assuming whoever they asked to do a second shooter didn't do that with them, didn't get a chance, um, backed out, got busy, and they were just, I was the last person on the, the, the totem pole. So I sent them a message about 10, 20, go, yeah, sure, I'm still available. I can help you out. You know, let's talk about things. What do you need? Yada, da. Hey, do you want, are you going to give me SD cards? Is there a hard drive? So I was trying to get details. And then I said, hey, we can talk about pay. And you can pay me at five o'clock and boom, red flag number two popped up because at the same time I said, Hey, what's the location? And Hey, the second message, we can talk about pay and you can tell me at five o'clock or you can pay me at five o'clock. They gave me the location, but they never responded on the pay. Second reflect red flag. The person I was talking to goes, Hey, don't do the, do, do the shoot. They didn't respond to you the first two or three, 500 times that you messaged them. You know, they don't want you don't, don't do the shoot. Don't do it. And uh, I said, no, I feel bad. Um, you know, they, they're probably in a bind. They're probably busy trying to find a second shooter. And um, and I'll help them. You know, I'll help them out. And I don't like how this is blown out. I'll fix this in Luminary. And so um, I do, I do the, obviously here it is, the wedding, right? I did the wedding. Did the shoot. And they were very controlling. And I never like working with photographers that are not, they don't let you just kind of do you. Now I shoot, I don't really like shooting an F1 or F2 because I can't come back from the the the, the bouquet, right? The blurry background. And I usually shoot at F5, F8, somewhere in that range, F4, you know, low end, especially group shots. And the reason why I do that is because in Luminar AI, I can blur out the background anytime I want. 
I don't need, I can just mask the area I need and it can all be blown out from the back part. And so I told this person, I was like, hey, I, for second shooter stuff, I only bring my zooms. So they're all at 2.8. Um, the, the Tamron or the Sigma 28 to 70, uh, the Sony 70 to 200 is a four. And then I have the other Sony that's 70 to 200, which is a 2.8 also. And then the Fuji, which is the one I think you're looking at right now is 1.4. And, um, and so I only have the one prime and I said, Hey, I don't have all my primes with me because as a second shooter, I'm just, I'm a background person. I'm a wide angle or I'm a detail shot. You know, I'm not, I don't. I don't need a lot of the the stuff, you know, the, the 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 primes because I'm not doing any portraitures or anything like that because most times I'm just doing detail shots. And I asked them, I said, "Hey, do you want me to work with the groom?" And they're like, "No, I got it. I've got to be in control." Blah blah blah. And I said, "Okay, fine. You're in control. Like I'm just here." And this reminds me of a story. I don't know if I said it already. This reminds me of a story of a girl I talked to on Clubhouse, where she has done. 50, 60, 100 weddings. I don't remember what it was. It's a lot. She did a lot of weddings as a primary shooter, as a first shooter, as an assistant shooter. And then as a second shooter, she's helped out. And sometimes she'll look at a primary shooter that's over their head and they don't know what to do. And they come to her and they're like, hey, what do I do? And then she's like, I'm just a second shooter. I don't know how to help you. I'm sorry. Because she doesn't want to run the show. She's not getting paid as a primary shooter or the first shooter. She's a secondary shooter. She's just there to take the detail shots and then, you know, whatever else is is needed and so i'm very much under that philosophy also like hey i'm just here for the details right i'm here to help you out with detail shots i'm here to help you out with um the uh you know maybe the groom family members getting things organized i'm not here to oh i love how that oak looks oh my god fuji fuji dude they just their colors look so beautiful and um oh too dark and so let's go let's go to 20. see i'm just trying to go 20. okay and so i believe 100 percent. hey i'm gonna help you out as much as possible i'll come 10 minutes 15 minutes early just scope out the area to kind of find good spots for shooting um i'll stay five ten minutes later so like it was five i'll stay like five five fifteen and really i stayed almost till five thirty, um just because you know we're trying to get some shots and trying to get some stuff out there, but it doesn't, that doesn't matter. I don't, I don't care about that. And so, um, the, so I'm sitting there and so two fake flags, right? No money, no contract. They didn't respond back. Okay. So three red flags, but just two right now. The third one, very controlling. Hey, you can only shoot at 2.0 or lower. We already discussed this. Hey, uh, shutter speed can't be anything below 100, which is weird because I can always shoot at 60 if of a second and all my photos turn out pretty good, especially detail shots. I'm like, why can't I shoot at 60 of a second, second for detail shots? I put it on a tripod, take the shots, whatever. Not my, not my rodeo, right? I'm just listening. So um, I take the photos. Ooh, I like how this looks. I take the photos. I do what she wants, or I'm sorry, what they want me to do. And the night goes on, and we're getting ready to go to the ceremony. And I have my stuff on a tripod. And then I want to take a shot where they're ringing the bell. And I have a good spot. They're going to ring the bell. I'm going to get a good shot of them ringing the bell. And then this person walks to me and goes, get this tripod. Get it out of the way. Get Move this. Don't have it here. Like, just kind of like, right? And I was like, oh, my God. Like, calm the down. Like, calm down, woman. I'm sorry, person. And uh, so I move the tripod. I go find another spot put the tripod in the corner away from everything. And I take a couple of shots and I'm trying to help them out by telling them, Hey people, please sit down because they don't like anybody in the background for me. I, a wedding is people. And so, yeah, we're trying to get some shots of people and they want to get rid of the, I'm like, okay, whatever. Okay. Whatever. They're blurred out but person. You're, you're blurring out the background anyway. What You see blobs, but everybody's to their own, right? I, I'm not a controlling person. You do. If you know how to do a wedding, great go start doing it i'm going to take care of the primary stuff the bride is the most important thing the groom is the second most important thing the details are next and then so on and so forth right and the ceremony obviously you have to get the ceremony and i all that's where you shoot dual cards and we'll talk about dual cards some other time but so 
the wedding's going. I take the shots I want to take. They want me to take a shot from another angle, so I go and take a shot from another angle. Take out my zoom, get as close as I can, but it's an F4, so I'm pretty sure you're not going to be able to use those shots because they're F4, not F2.8 or lower, or F2 or lower. And so we get, this is the best, a couple of you forgot about this, but we get, there's a cart, and it fits three people. And so the bride gets on the cart, the photographer gets on the cart, and there's a videographer who's her best friend, or who's that person's best friend. And now I'm part of the group, this Instagram group that people find people. I'm sorry, this is taking a long time. You can, please, by all means, pop out of the video. You don't want to hear the rest of this drama. Just go, right? If I'm boring you, please pop off the video. Most of you probably didn't make it past the first two minutes. Um, anyway, this is just for the verse now, regardless if anybody's listening. So I go and I start walking towards the cart. And this person yells out the videographer's name to get on the cart. Didn't ask me to get on the cart. And like I said, this is an Instagram group with a bunch of people that have been working closely together for a long time. And I'm very one of those people that works with a few of them here and there. Um, I've talked to a bunch of them off and on. I met some of them on Clubhouse. I have not, I'm not a tight knit person. I like to be in the background. You won't see me in any photos. I don't play, like you'll see these videos. If you watch them in sequential, I'm not in any of these videos. And so I don't like being in anything. I don't know why. I just don't like it. And so that person asked their friend to get on the thing. And I'm like, whatever. And they're like, hey, you can give me the SD cards now. And I said, I'll give them to you when I get back up at the top because I need to get my water bottle and I want to put the bag down. And my back has been hurting me since this, this accident. So, I, I, you know, I'm, I, I thought, and I even told the person, hey, I was just in a car accident. So you would have thought like, hey, jump on the golf cart and walk, you know, instead of walking back. Nah, didn't, but whatever, whatever, whatever. It bothers me, but, you know, the rest of y'all don't care. And so... I'm walking up there slow. I'm gimping out. My leg is killing me. My hip is killing me. My back is killing me. And I get up to the top and I say, hey, how do you want to do this? Do the pictures. Can I use them? And they go, oh, I, I don't post them for six months. And I'm like, what is mentally wrong with these people? Like these people from California I talked to and worked with in the past, you can't have any of the photos to people that are like, oh, uh, if you post them, you need to tag me. Oh, cool. I'll tag everybody. Like, I don't care. But like, you're going to wait six months to post wedding photos? How long does it take you to edit? Like, it's, like me right here, I'm I'm here for 10 minutes and I've already edited like seven or eight pictures. I don't, like for Fuji, you don't even have to do too much. Um. Anyway, so I was like, okay, whatever. You, I'll, I'll post in a long time from now. And then um, I go, okay, what about money? Um, how do you want to pay me? Because, you know, remember I, I said five o'clock after thinking, well, we got to see how your photos look and, you know, determine how much I pay you. Okay. Well, what's your rate? What do you usually pay? Well, you know, 25, 35 to 50. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. my worth is 50 to $65, maybe 45 at the minimum. But you're telling me you're not willing to pay me 50 bucks at the, at the small end, maybe 45, you're 25 to, to what was it? Uh, 50? I'll take 50, but now you have to wait. And I had the SD card in my hand, and I was like thinking, I'm not going to give you the SD card till I get paid. That's kind of where I'm coming from. Like, I'm not going to give you this SD card till I get I get some money in my pocket. And, and so I kind of look at them, and I'm like, you know, is it worth the fight? And this is what this is where my mind went. All the red flags went off, right? The the not telling me how much they're, that they were going to pay me at five o'clock. That's the first red flag. Not getting a contract, which you should get a contract. Them not answering back immediately after I've texted them and they've seen the message. Um, not, what's the other one? Um, them being all bossy and like demanding of what they want. And I get, like I said, I get it. Everybody's different. Everybody wants to do, I'm a nonchalant, laissez faire, laissez faire, whatever you want to call it, you know, person. I'm like, hey, just take the pictures. I don't, as long as they come out and they're not too grainy or noisy, let's do it. Um, the kind of getting mad about the tripod and, and telling me to move it out of their way because they were going to have a shot. Okay, fine. You could have said it a little bit nicer, but you, you're busy. Okay, fine. All right. All those red flags. 
and then to come back and be like six months maybe posted and then in that process too was like i'll look over the pictures like you're going to tell me what i can and can't post in those pictures first off i'm going to post what i want to post if you're gonna if we didn't sign a contract let's just start off there if we didn't sign a contract to say hey you can post this or you can't post these i'm going to post what i want to post when i want to post it if you're going to be like hey i'm not going to pay uh you 50 dollars because i didn't like all the pictures um okay i'm gonna post tomorrow i'm posting now i'll probably wait till february march on these photos and start posting them but i'm gonna post them right if you're gonna pay me like 20 30 dollars no, I'm, I'm sorry no and that goes back to everybody screaming and yelling i can't believe you're bitching moaning about 25 dollars versus 50 dollars in my day but okay great in your day or wherever you're at or however much you're making whatever you're making i mean that you value your worth different than i do and I sit here knowing that I should have not taken the wedding. I should have signed a contract. And that's there's the key. If anything you've learned from here, if you've listened all the way up to this point, you can cut off right after this. Always sign a contract all the time. Don't ever go into a second shooting position with 30 minutes left in the clock and go, hey, uh, don't worry about the contract. Sign it. Make them send you a contract. Sign a contract. Get a contract signed. Don't ever, ever not get a contract uh, from anybody. And um, so that's the lesson. You can cut off from here. If you want to leave, bye. Uh, I'm just going to finish this off for me. Um, I, I walked away mad. I really did. I, I sat there and I took the pictures. Those are my photos. I'm going to post them when I want to post them. I'm going to edit them the way I'm going to edit them. You don't see the pictures of the actual bride and groom in here because I don't want to like put the blaster face out there. And I'm pretty sure if you slow the video down and pause it, you can see him. Whatever. I don't care about that. But I, I'm editing the photos uh, the way I want to edit the photos. And I'm going to post the photos the way I want to post the photos. And with that being said, I can't... I've never come across anybody like this before where they are like, oh, these are, you can't post these pictures till I'm, I'm good and ready, please. Uh, you're not going to give me a definitive price because you don't know how the photos look depending on my experience. That's just a cop out. And this is where I think it really plays the key. I think that they did this wedding at such a low budget or for their friend for free or half price. And they're not willing to spend 150 bucks on a wedding photographer. They're like $75 for three hours. All the wedding photographers I've ever shot with, even the ones out of California, paid the night of, the moment you showed up, and they told you, hey, this is what we're paying, regardless, of, hey, this is how much experience you've had, this is how long you've been shooting, 10, 15, 20 years, whatever it is you shot. And they paid. They they were. I've even paid second shooters. The moment they got there, I was like, "Hey, uh, thirty minutes after the we start shooting, give me your Venmo or let me send you the invoice, or I'll even schedule it um, two hours after the photo shoot goes, and I'll send the invoice off, or somebody you know that runs the business with me, they'll send it off uh, two hours after the person's arrived, because they've been shooting the whole time." And I've never come across anybody, or I would never do it to somebody like, oh, let me see the photos before I decide if I'm going to pay you, you know, what you think you're worth or or even an amount that I feel is fair enough. And so I, that made me mad. And that goes back to red flags. And so I know that right now I'm bitching and moaning about something so simple when there's people having a hard time. But I do photography for a living and eventually this will get wiped out by phones eventually you will not need a photographer phones will do all the video stuff they'll do all the photo stuff like everything will be rep we will replace right now ai is making it easy to do portraitures and uh you don't even need a model anymore you know you could someday soon you just type in what you want in there and boom you know, dark skin, light skin, black hair, blonde hair, whatever type of outfit. And then it's going to pop up. We don't need photographers. You don't need them. And this is a luxury thing. This really is. This is a super luxury item. And not every, you know, a lot of weddings don't have photographers or videographers. And 
it comes to a shock to people. Like, oh my God, I can't believe there's a wedding without a photographer. And so we're not needed, but I know my value. I know what I want to get paid. And this is a lesson learned for me. And I hope if you've still listened to this point, which I highly doubt anybody has, there's probably zero people listening still. Um, always sign a contract, guys. Never do anything for a friend for free or for exposure. Never do anything for somebody that you think is going to be professional or you met them on a group because they say, hey, everybody's nice here. Uh, lesson learned. Lesson learned. I've been doing this for a long time and every so often I forget that people will screw you over. Every so often I take the benefit of the doubt for certain people when they're in need. And I don't remember the terminology, but um, something about uh, no good deed goes unpunished. I think that's how it works or betrayed or something. And um, last thing, and I said it at the beginning, if you're still listening, if you're going to put a comment in here and you're not a wedding photographer or event photographer, you've never gone through this thing ever in your life, you're just some person that's out there listening to this, don't leave a comment. right? If you don't know what we're going through, just go away. Like you didn't even have to listen to this video. Right? I don't care if you put a bunch of likes on there or dislikes or follows or I don't care about any of that kind of stuff. I just need to say it. At least one person hopefully will learn. And um, that's it. I wish you all a good one. Have a great night, day, month, year, whatever it is for you. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.